Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I am sitting on the floor. <laughs> I'm working from home today, and I got a little bit tired of sitting at my desk, vanity, because that's where I work when I do work from home. I got sick of sitting there, so I decided, you know, it's my lunch break. Let's sit on the floor and go through all the products that I got in my first actual PR package. So I did receive my first PR package from Shop Miss A. If you missed the video where I talked about actually getting contacted by Shop Miss A and becoming an affiliate, I'll throw it up in the cards. But essentially, this is like my first PR package from them. And I'm really excited because I tried to pick out some products. So some products I was able to pick out and then others they just sent me directly. And I really wanted to get enough products to test a full face out from their AOA Studio line, which is their in-house makeup brand. So we're going to go over all the products that I got. Um, I've been testing a couple of them out already, which is why the package is already opened. But I will have a follow-up video in a few weeks detailing my full thoughts on all the products once I've had a chance to test all of them out. All right, so let's jump in. First, I have, this is something that they actually sent me. This is the AOA Studio A Plus Edition Wonder Blender, like the Mochi one. So this is their newest blender. It's supposed to be the, um, what's it called? Like the fuzzy, like there was that sponge that came out, the Junko sponge, where it's like a fuzzy kind of sponge instead of the normal kind of sponge. It's supposed to be like that. Um, I haven't tested it out yet, so I'm not quite sure what it is, but it feels very soft, I have to say. And this is from their a bit more pricey line, if you can call it that. So it's $1.88 and they do donate money to charity whenever you get one of those products. Oh, the lighting is not my friend here. All right, the next product that I got that I'm very excited about is their foundation, or one of their foundations. So this is the AOA Studio A Plus Buildable Satin Foundation. It's like a little teardrop kind of foundation. And I picked out two shades because I really didn't know what shade was gonna work best for me. I got 303 Buff and 302 Fair Ivory, which is not the lightest shade, but it is the lightest warm shade. So I have tested this out a couple of times and Fair Ivory is my closest shade match. This one is still a little bit too dark for me. And I've worn it a few times, I'm actually pretty impressed so far. I've done several full day wear tests, but um, I do want to probably not do a full video, but I will have the full thoughts on my foundation. But I will have my full thoughts on this foundation in the follow-up video to this haul. And it is just kind of like a teardrop kind of thing. A friend of mine mentioned on Instagram that she really liked this foundation. She thought it was really similar to the, to the Catrice HD foundation, which I love. I love that Catrice foundation. So I would love to do like a side-by-side -side test with that, but so far, I like it so far. Next, I got a primer. So this is the AOA Studio Wonder Skin Illuminating Primer. I tested out both the matte and the pore blurring filter kind of primer. Um, I really liked the... Uh, the pore blurring primer, that one was really good. The matte primer was a complete dud for me, so I didn't really like that one. I haven't opened up this one yet, it still has the plastic on it, so we'll see. All right, next I got an eyeshadow primer. So this is the AOA Studio Perfect Eyeshadow Primer, and it seems to just be in a really light beige shade. I haven't opened this yet, but I am really excited to test this out, especially since I actually did get some eyeshadows. So this was the Wildflower Palette. Now it is marketed and sold as a palette, though it is a collection of singles. So these are all the singles that you get with it. I think it was $10 um, for the whole packet. So it's basically a dollar for each shadow and then a dollar for the palette itself. I've only swatched a couple of these so far, um, but the, I have to say the palette itself feels really nice. I'll probably pick up one or two more of just these palettes because it's really good quality for a dollar and you do get a mirror in here. So I'm excited to try out their eyeshadow primer and all of these single shadows. I also forgot to mention I did get a color corrector. So I did get a salmon color corrector for under my eyes. It's actually in my everyday makeup basket because that's the first thing I opened and I started testing out. So I don't have the actual bottle here, but it is one of their color correctors. They have several of them. They have like a yellow one, a purple one. I just got the lightest salmon colored one. Next, I have something else I haven't opened up yet. This is the AOA Studio Wonder Brow Tinted Brow Pomade. So it's their version of like the ABH Dip Brow. Um, I have to say, I was a little surprised at how small this is, but it is a dollar so I kind of could expect that and I got like the darkest shade so it's supposed to be like a brown black I'm hoping it's cool tone because I do like a darker blackish brow especially now that we're in spoopy season and also because like winter is coming up and I do like a nice dark brow <laughs> so I'm gonna see how this works out next something I was also surprised by the size but you know not in a total like terrible way. These are two blushes. So these are the AOA Studio Perfect blushes in the shade 
mod and dandy so mod is this beautiful just like mauve shade that looks gorgeous and then dandy is of course an orange kind of peachy tinted one that i think looks almost matches my eyeshadow but that is pretty let's swatch these real quick right so we have mod and dandy right here and like i said i was a bit surprised by the size of the blushes i think if i had paid more attention to the actual net weight i wouldn't be as surprised <laughs> but i didn't but i was just surprised uh of the size of those compared to like their highlighters because this is a full-size highlighter and the blushes are a bit smaller so just keep that in mind next i got a lip oil so this is the aoa studio oh honey nourishing lip oil so it's supposed to be kind of like a lip gloss kind of like a uh like a chapstick so i haven't opened this up yet but i'm excited to try it out especially since you know as we're going into winter um i'm definitely looking for some more nourishing some more moisturizing lip products either to go under lipsticks or just like to wear overnight or to wear instead of wearing lipstick Next, I picked up a mascara. I, they had quite a few different mascaras available, but this is the one that I ended up picking up. This is the AOA Studio Fat Lash Mascara. Now, I haven't opened it up yet, so I really don't know what the wand applicator brush looks like, so let's just take a quick look. Oh, okay, so that is promising. See, that's kind of a small brush, but it's got some nice spacing to it. And it's a good size for my eye okay promising um since i did just open this i'm gonna put this in my everyday basket and start the three month countdown on the mascara all right so last but not least i did mention i got a highlighter this is the aoa studio perfect pressed highlighter unfortunately when i first got this in the package it was completely shattered i'll throw a picture up right here that you can see they did try to go through the effort of packaging it a bit more um, it was in its own bubble wrap within the bubble wrap and it was still just completely shattered. So what I did is I repressed it. So this is the repressed highlighter. It did take a little long to dry, but I can still swatch it out. It is a very glittery highlight, so it's very kind of chunky. I haven't tried this on my face yet, so I don't know how it blends out, but we will see. And also I emailed Shop Miss A after I got the package and it was broken and they're sending me another one, which is really nice of them. So we're gonna get another one. So I do wanna compare, like hopefully that one comes not broken. <laughs> um, so I wanted to compare like a non-repressed one versus the repressed one that I did, just to see if the formula holds up to repressing, uh, how it blends out on the face, how it swatches. So I'm really keeping my fingers crossed and hoping that that one shows up and it's not completely shattered. All right, so that's everything for my first that package unboxing oh my god i'm just i'm so excited thank you so much to shop miss a for letting me join your affiliate program for giving me the affiliate link and for sending these products along i am very excited it's not you know that common that you see a brand that is consistently putting out like really affordable products and really high quality products at that so that being said guys if you want to use my affiliate link whenever you shop at shop miss a i'll have that linked down below along with the description i think it's within 60 days if you click that link and make a purchase on the website i will earn a small commission and they do track how many people do click on that link I'm probably going to give myself at least a month, probably two months with these products before I do my follow-up review because I think it's I did two months in between my first haul and then my follow-up review for those products. So I want to give myself enough time to fully test all these products out and I want to do a full face of Shop Miss A. I'm probably going to place another order for a few products because I really do want to do a full face of Shop Miss A products and actually give it like a good honest try so let me know down below if any products from shop miss a have caught your eye if you have any favorites like i do let me know in the comments down below and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye